What does AI have to do with TV? We're at the tent. You pronounce it. Okay, no, that's, um, what does AI have to do with TV? I'm talking to Rohan from Iris TV, and we're gonna find out. So hi, what's your name and what do you do? I'm Rohan Castellino, I'm the CMO of Iris TV. And uh, what is Iris TV? So Iris TV is a content data platform. We make it possible for advertisers to target contextually based on what you're watching. So. For example, if you're a brand like Carl's Jr. and you know that your customers are young, hungry males on a budget, and you know a little bit about them, maybe they're into sports, they're into anime, they're into video games, you can target them when they're watching that exact content using contextual intelligence uh, enabled by AI. So what, what is contextual intelligence? It's basically, with, when you, especially when you use tools like AI, you can actually analyze each video frame by frame and really understand what it's about. So the sight, the sound, the motion, identify objects within it, and you can create data segments that you can now target. Same way you can target you know, demo or you can target other types of data sets, now you can target exactly what the show is about. So you know, it's a really good way to align with the mindset with somebody who's watching. So unlike you know, when we're on our phone or if we're on our laptop, we have a very specific set of objectives, it's either like scroll through social media, mm -hmm. look for something for our next big purchase. But you know, when we're curled up on the couch in the evening, the last thing we want to do is to get the wrong ad at the wrong time. So we make it possible to actually enjoy the ads that you see. So it's kind of a, and I'm not sure if I get this right, but it's like a specialized ad thing, or is it or, where it's like you watch content? or you, Yeah, so you're watching the regular shows you watch. That. And usually, you know, there's an ad break, right? And there's usually something from like a personal injury lawyer or something that's completely unrelated to you, a you know, 60 second pharmaceutical ad. But now maybe if you're watching Yellowstone, maybe it's an ad for Carhartt. Right, yeah. something that's more aligned to the tone of the feeling of the show itself. Oh, to the actual, yeah. not to the user, but to the, to show? the show. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like targeting what you, targeting targeting you when you're watching the stuff you love, as opposed to just targeting you and hoping that's maybe you watching the show. Maybe it's your dad. Maybe it's your friend, right? Because your phone is tied to you. Yeah. That TV on that wall could be anybody in the house watching it. Yeah. So it's it's that's really interesting. It's adds to. Um, to a show or to a movie, that's, um, and then how does AI impact? Yeah, so what Iris TV does, we enable AI companies to be able to access those shows, those movies. So we take that data, we organize it, and then we help companies an analyze that information itself and create their own data segments. So they'll use computer vision, natural language processing, and other AI tools to actually watch the show like, we, like you and I would, but then create data segments that are standardized, and then you can target that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And then just as a final question, what is what is your advice to people in who want to pursue that field? Yeah, I absolutely. I think obviously, you know, boning up on all the latest advances on AI, obviously getting some literacy on the new terminology, but then ultimately, you know, get open AI, you chat GPT and just try prompting it. Right. I think a lot of, you know, knowledge is built from just doing. Mm -hmm. All right, you can read as many books as possible. You can get all the information, but there's kind of an academic coldness to it. So I think jumping right in is the best way to get a feel for it. And then, you know, it's, it's constantly moving. It's constantly evolving. So from there, you can just build experience and take it from there. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.